all right so you've installed the active group users extension by social pro manager and you first have to register an account so put in your email here so I'm just going to do a chrome store at whoops uh, proper email here of course it has to be valid email and you spec you choose a password you click on the register basically what that does is it registers your email with the platform and as you can see down here it says it says that you've successfully registered in your account please check your email for the activation link so now manager you can get this email click on this link that's right here and that that will activate your account on active on social pro manager once you've got that now you can actually go back to the extension and it'll show that you're logged in now it says that you're logged in as whoever the login is right and now what we want to do is we want to add groups so this is the main reason why you use this extension is because you want it to go find people that are active in groups so that you can then engage on their profile so here's how it works you go to Facebook and you find the groups that you're interested in either groups you're already in or you find new groups or something let's just say I'm going to use um yeah this group here so I just take this group I copy the link to the group and then I go right back into the extension right here and then I put the a group right in here and I add it to the group now depending on the plan you have you're going to be allowed to have in this the default the, the free 14-day trial by the way that's what you're getting your 14-day trial uh, you can put up to three groups and uh, up to five posts and 10 comments so what we're going to do right now is we're going to do a scan to show you how it works so under options I'm just going to make it go a little bit faster uh, if you try to do too fast let's say I go faster it'll tell you that that's not a good idea right it says be caref careful because it could block your Facebook so really don't do that until you understand what that means use medium or slow or even molasses if you want so under medium and then I'm also going to say maximum of five comments because I don't want to uh, take too long to do the scanning I'm going to do three posts and five comments all right and uh, the pop-up I can do a 500 by 500 just kind of see what it looks like and then when I go back to data on the start button it'll start the scan it'll pop up a new window right here with the uh, where it's going to go and navigate to the uh, to the groups right so it's not going to be super super fast because we did um, we didn't make it go fast but at the same time like I said you want to be careful not to make it go too fast so what it does it loads up the group page and then it'll scroll through the page and it'll go and find the posts on that page and it'll open up new tabs anyways it does its magic here as you can see it's going through it's it's scrolling like I, I just moved that me but it scrolls on its own then it closed the pops it also shows you right here how many it's found so far the button is red while it's scanning once it's finished and also you see the number increase and then it finishes and it's done and it says how many it's done so now you've got your data you've got your script now normally what you do is you have that run every single you do that every day you run it every day because it'll grab new comments new uh, active people right you can probably you can change the groups if you want you can you can uh, leave a list of groups that you always want to scan right whichever way you want to do it but then after that you click on the view data you click view data and it'll show you the actual data that it just scraped right now you can see that this is a single group if there was multiple groups you'd see the group right here here's the post to the people that commented on the posts here's the post id as you can see some of them are the same right because it's basically the comments on that post and then here are the actual comments that were posted if there's anything that's longer than a sh nothing is longer but if it was longer if you mouse over it you'll see the whole the whole comment but you can always just click on it to go get to go see that comment if I click on one of these it'll go and load that post and you can see uh, the post itself that that there was a comment on right um also but anyways that's not how you use the data so how do you use the data you can see right here it says there's a count of zero 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 if I click on one of these it'll open up Facebook for me and then what happens is I can actually <clears throat> go now you know look at that person's profile engage on their posts comment on their posts and that kind of stuff so the idea is that you are engaging on people's content in their profile that are actually interested in your stuff because they're in those groups there are people interested in the stuff that you have 
if you're trying to sell a course or trying to sell an online uh market uh, you're an affiliate marketing tool or anything like that you go find where marketers go right if you're trying to sell uh something that has to do with weight loss well you go in weight loss groups and find you know the people you use those groups so that's kind of how you do it you can see there's a little face you can actually edit your profile set a profile picture and all this thing on the platform here but over here you can see that you are on the bronze plan if you go to the actual extension itself by clicking the little icon at the top here you can see as well there's a plans which shows you the plans that are available the free plan still lets you do quite a bit um and then um so this is my data that I scraped just a few hours ago there's other other records I like this one here that I did with 222 depending on your plan you have the ability to see previous executions right previous data and what you can see right here is the number of times that I visited these profiles so every single time I do a new scan it knows that this person here I visited three times two days ago I went to their profile so I can actually sort them by visited time right I can see who is it that I visited the most recently or the or that I haven't visited yet scroll down I can scroll I can do it the other way around I can choose to uh, uh, sort it in reverse that gives me the list of uh, the oldest you know the the one that I visited the most um recently and it shows me how many times so you can see that you can also add a note as you can see right here it says no post that's because I put that there so if I go to a post a profile that I've never been to let's say I, I pick one of these click funnels ones uh, and I go to that profile right I can see that profile has got um well well that's a per perfect example see this profile here it has no posts no nothing I can't comment on it I can't do anything I, I can only send them a friend request right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to this this is Justin Lee here I'm going to close that I'm going to go back to his account here I'm going to click on here I'm going to say can't comment so now I have a note on this profile so that next time I scan and if he shows up again I already I already know that I can't comment so maybe I won't bother visiting it again right and uh, yeah so that's kind of how it works those are the main features by the way on the phone on your phone you can also access this data on your phone even though you can't use the extension on your phone right so and you got to keep in mind that your login that's down here uh you got to use the same login once you've got like if I log out here once you've got your account you can log out right showing logged out I can click on login instead and I can put my email address and my password right there and I can log in now it gives me it gets access to the same the last scrape was 19 comments if I go back here I can show you the last the last scrape was previous one 19 records right so that's the data that's that was last scrape when I did a test <coughs> and that's how the extension works all right hope you enjoyed